826, welcome back to the show. Each year, 30,000 people are diagnosed with juvenile diabetes, otherwise known as type 1 diabetes. Now, despite the name of that 30,000, only 11,000 are kids. The remainder are adults who are impacted. Now, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation works tirelessly to raise money, funding for the research into a cause, and of course, more importantly, a cure for the millions that are impacted. Now, one such event is the annual Walk for a Cure coming up on November 4th. But a week before that, some members of the community have joined together to hold a chili cook-off to raise money for one of the 11,000 kids impacted, 11-year-old Miss Shelby Ray Sheely. Good morning. And Mom, good morning. Good morning. Hey, good guys. Morning. Thanks for having us. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for coming in because you brought chili. I mean, it didn't hurt that you brought <laughs> some chili, right? Right. So you're 11? Yes, sir. All right. So when were you diagnosed with, uh, with juvenile diabetes? March 15, 2008. So you've had it for a minute or two then, as the kids say. <laughs> what have you been, what you, like eight then? Is my math right? Eight. About eight? Mm -hmm. Good gosh. It's been about four years. So let me ask you this, and what is, what's the impact? So you, so you, have, uh, you have type 1 diabetes. What, how does that change me, you know, like when I was, I was 11, like four years ago? It doesn't change a lot, mm -hmm. but whenever you're diabetic, every day you have to check your blood sugar before you eat. You have to right. get insulin. And the bad thing is, some days I miss lunch a few times. So right. a little bit of lunch. What, what are you doing? Are you missing lunch? You in trouble at school? Uh, no, I'm not in trouble. I just have to try blood sugar, so it takes oh, me a while. Oh, so you can't, oh, so you can't, your diet has to change because of, mm -mm. of your blood sugar? No. It doesn't change? Right. If, right. My, blood, if my blood sugar is good, mm -hmm. I can still eat, but if my blood sugar is high, right. I can still eat. If it's low, I can still eat. So, so it really doesn't matter what my blood sugar is, I can always still eat. Right. It's just it takes me a little while at the nurse, I which is you. the bad part. That's I get you. That's one of the you. downsides. So you're missing lunch because you're having to get yourself checked. Right. I got you. I wasn't quite certain. Now, do you, and we've all seen like um, the pumps in different ways. How do you get your insulin? Um, I do have the pump. Okay. And what I'll do is I will calculate up my carbs. I will mm -hmm. put them in my pump, and it, the pump will actually calculate how much insulin I need to get. Wow. And that does it for you, though? Yes, sir. Okay. I just have to punch in the number, and then it'll give me the insulin. Right. Goodness. Mom, well, let me ask you this. As, as a mom, uh, you know, your, your daughter at eight years old diagnosed with, with juvenile diabetes. How about the impact on the family? And you guys, it must be a whole lifestyle change in the house, cooking and food and all these things? Completely. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, we were definitely junk food junkies right. you know, <laughs> beforehand. And, uh, you know, she can still have things. We just have to, to just make sure she's not getting too much and sure. make sure that that the other things were adding some protein mm -hmm. in with the carbs and that just helps the the spikes and the dips in our blood sugar. Mm -hmm. The you know you're diagnosed it obviously you know about it. a lot of times di um, diabetes isn't diagnosed until it gets too far and then it creates other health issues obviously you were diagnosed that's something you can control through life right it's, it's gonna be some added things added tests in your pump and all this stuff right. but but uh, it really does as far as any other impact I mean you can certainly uh, you know you can certainly roll with it right? Well, I'll tell you what we're rolling with. How about rolling with chili? Because the Juvenile Diabetes Walk is the fourth, but this Sunday is a cook-off. We've got about 30 seconds left, but I want to know about the cook-off that we're having, the chili cook-off for you. Um, this coming Sunday, there will be at, they'll be at Schooners right across from the dam. Mm -hmm. what, where, what's the address? Uh, it's Bush River 66. 6226 Bush 626 River Road. 626 Bush bet. River Road. There you go. Exactly. And it's going to be from 2 o'clock to 9 o'clock, and right. we're going to be having live music. Mm -hmm. There's going to be, who are all the bands? Let's see, there's Jay Edwards. Uh, we have Jay Edwards, Crash Cadillac, the 121 Band, wow. Dave Britt, and I'm sorry if I'm forgetting anyone. That's oh, a who's who, by the way. If you've got, right. you got Dave Britt and, uh, and Jay Edwards, you've got it. You got <laughs> absolutely, it. absolutely. And everybody's you know, just graciously donated their time right. for the cause. And, and, and all the money raised is going to be given to the JDR via. You're going to walk up to the walk on the 4th and go, Here's a big fat check. Exactly. That's exactly. the deal. Exactly. All the money. That's what we're hoping. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right. So I know the cookers are arguing here. We're going to try the yeah. chili in a little bit. You, can you eat chili? No. I don't, I don't do spicy stuff. You don't do spicy? <laughs> well, neither do I. Is this going to kick my butt? Be honest. Probably. Awesome. All right. We are, we're going to check out some chili here in just a little bit. But a Shelby's Chili Cook-Off happening uh, this Sunday, the 28th. And, of course, the JDRF Walk is on the 4th, and we'll be talking about that next week as well. So awesome. So awesome to meet you, Miss Shelby. Thank you, too. Oh, thanks right. for coming in so darn early as well. So you got out of school a little bit, too, right? Yeah, just a little. Oh, yeah, that's a good reason to be on TV, <laughs> right? Chili's coming up here in just a little while. Plus, we're going to have an update on the fire up in Irmo. So a lot. Oh, 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 and I almost forgot. Almost forgot. Yes, Bruce Burke is here to play us a tune or two more local vocals coming up before the end of this show, which is not for a while. Stick around.